Okay, hi guys. Hey, okay, Stephanie's being my camera woman today. Hello, I am the camera stand. <laughs> so we were talking about a few things, and I thought, well, this is more a not a a Naya thing. It's more realistic thing on this level for regular 4D people. But uh, let's go to the next step here. I've been talking about the cities a lot. And uh, just to let you know, the CDC rules are pretty much like what you see on TV. If a family is found to be contagious, they will keep the people in the building until they're no longer contagious. House. House, building, whatever. town, city. That's the rule. You've got to keep them in to keep it from going out anywhere. So that's the reason why they're doing what they're doing, is that is CDC guidelines. Those are guidelines. Those are not laws. They're guidelines. However, if it is a deadly disease, they will get pretty serious about it. Um, and just to let you know, if for some reason Stephanie and I in this house came down with some deadly disease, they would quarantine us in this house, and I guarantee you they would not deliver us food. Uh, that doesn't come with the deal. Their job is to quarantine. Their job is not to take care of. So uh, for these cities that think they need to be babied and taken care of, that's not the way it works. Uh, I'm sure as many people will try to get aid to them as can, but this whole country has got issues. So uh, expect to take care of yourself. Now in that regard, <laughs> city folk, we need to talk a little bit about country folk and small town folk. <laughs> okay, so I guess today there was a call out because... Uh, uh, the the people, the cops are doing stupid stuff, like arresting people for breaking the too close together rule. I don't know where they're going to put them in the jails, that they're going to be even more close together. It's not even a rule. It's a guideline. It's, it just It's a suggestion. <laughs> yeah, it's just stupid. Somebody got arrested for... Um, being out in the ocean. Being out in the ocean. He was surfing or paddleboarding or something, and some lady freaked out, and they arrested him. I don't know... Humans make no sense to me. And then the father. Yeah, the father. And father, mother, and a six-year-old girl, 20 cops surrounded her, surrounded him and threw him in jail. And I'm going, okay. Threw the, just the dad. No. Not the other two. Yeah, no, uh, no masks, no gloves on the 20 cops. They go to 20 different places. But we're going to arrest the family. Uh, just a heads up to any cops out there, it is a bad idea to start arresting families. You are just setting a fuse to this country if you start that business. So uh, I would suggest don't do that. Aside from the fact that after this is all done, uh, you will be sued, personally. They will sue you, and they'll win. So I wouldn't do that if I was a cop, if I was you. So, and this is also informative for people who are not Americans. And I'll give you a little <laughs> lesson on America. Uh, America is a relatively young country, and it was built on... Uh, on, on a line that we all very, very much believe, and that is give me liberty or give me death, and we mean it. We mean it. That's why there's so much fighting going on in this country is because everybody's perception of what their liberty is is different. But whatever their perception of liberty is, if you try to get in the way of it, we will die trying to get it. And that's why it is so violent here in those, so many ways. Well, this is... See, people have kind of a misnomer. They think of the pilgrims and stuff. No, 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 no. Our original breeding pool were all of the criminals and rebellious assholes that didn't like all of the rules over there in Europe land. So we said, fuck you, we'll live in the woods. Yes. We would <laughs> rather live with nothing than have you tell us what to do. So all of those European rules and regulations were yet do and follow the rules. You know, pinky up. Yeah, that really isn't American at all. That's the reason why we're translated when we go over there is rude, is because when we came over here, our peoples from everywhere said, no more rules. Don't tell me what to do. And to this day, Americans are really big on don't tell me what to do. Now, I realize that all humans from the age of zero on don't like to be told what to do, but Americans take it to the next level. I mean, <laughs> top level. We don't like we're, to be told what to do. We're ever. also very interesting creatures because we also don't give a damn unless it affects us. Right. So we'll go, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. You're fucking with me, you're dead. Yeah. That's how we go. Don't really go in between. It's usually pretty much zero to dead. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's very, very true here. So you, you, if you live here, you know all these rules. 
Now, city folk that don't ever go out in the country, <laughs> there are some rules that I don't think you guys know that maybe you should know. I know that you have gotten some information about the militias. <laughs> and most of what you've seen are what we consider the crazy militia people. The ones that are like, you know, white supremacists, they're, way they're, overboard. A lot of times, they we look at them like they're the militias on the short bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those militias are the short bus militias. Now, for those of you who don't know, this country, across the country, are thousands of groups of militias. They are everywhere. It's Emphasis our, on groups. Thousands of groups. Yes, thousands of groups. Thousands of groups that could have anywhere from dozens to hundreds of members. Some of them thousands. They have been working together for decades. Literally decades. They have been training together for decades. They have been interacting together for decades. Just like you've been listening to preppers and self-sufficiency people, all of those people that you guys made fun of, or all the city folk made fun of, are now laughing their butts off because of what's happening. They are prepared and very happy to do it. Okay? So, when it comes to... Not all cops, so cops don't jump on me here, but the majority of it, city cops and highway patrol are the cops that are typical cops. Anybody else that's not that are generally a part of a militia. And frequently, military guys that are in those other areas, which is the majority of the United States, by the way, if you're in military or if you're in a cop or, ex. or a fireman, or X, usually they're, you're, you're in some kind of militia group. Um, these have been going on for so long, guys, I can't even explain. And Plus, most it's of the a time, family thing. So yeah, it's very the entire much a family, family thing. will become a part of that militia, even if only one person came in through being a military or a cop or whatever. And they have a lot of fun with it. Uh, a lot of times it's guys, although there are women there too, without a doubt. Uh, but they do practice... The training and the skills of any kind of military, and they do it kind of like you know, weekend football or somebody in the city. They might go to the gym together, play basketball together. Well, in the country, they go play militia together, mm -hmm. and they do it seriously. And it and they is mean it. hardcore guerrilla militia. Yeah, it's, it's they know what they're doing. So the point here is, I've traveled all over the United States. Everywhere I've gone in the country, people have guns, and not one or two. Like they might in the city have a little pistol that's in a lockbox. <laughs> that's like so separate, cute. Separated away from their, their you guys' uh, bullets. No, no, no. There's many guns. <laughs> they're always loaded. And there are many, many rounds. So if you do get away from the cities and you're in a panic, do yourself a favor. Do not try to take anything from a country person. They will shoot you. I swear to God. In Texas, if somebody comes on your land, I think it's Oklahoma and Kansas too. But if, so. if somebody comes on your property and you shoot them, they fall down dead, you don't get in trouble at all. And so we were taught, this is going to sound terrible, we were taught if it looks like somebody's attacking your, your house, like if you're in a town, you shoot them and drag the body in, then call the cops, because then you don't get in trouble. And uh, you don't wound them either. You shoot to kill. <laughs> I'm just also, telling you what we are taught, guys. Also I'm not in Texas, I'm killing anybody. Also in Texas... If you have livestock and someone comes on your property, you can hang them and then yes. say they were trying to steal your livestock because that is still legal. Yeah, it's very legal to hang somebody if they, they uh, try to steal your cows or your horse. Still legal. As a matter of fact, hanging for, for livestock theft, horse and cows, that's still legal in a lot of states mm -hmm. in the United States. And there's a lot of cattle rustling still goes on. Interesting fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you guys know that... The people in the country and the small towns are prepared. They've been prepared for a long time. Uh, the reason why I brought this up is because Stephanie just saw an announcement by a militia in Idaho because of the guideline that, <laughs> that said that churches couldn't come together for Easter, that you couldn't go to church. Well, this militia said, yeah, you can, and you come here, anybody that wants to come, we will protect you, we will be armed, and we will fire and if you get into um, legal problems, we'll even pay for your legal problems if you want to come to support. Now, is that militia, church militia? Probably not. 
It's a militia that says liberty or death. We will decide. We will do what we want to do. We will say what we want to say. We will get together in groups when we want to get together in groups. And if you won't let us, we will fight you until we die. That is American. That is very, very American. Yeah, the cities are not an accurate portrayal as much as they wish they were. No, they, they aren't. Yeah, yeah. The, the country and small town people are way more into rights. They don't like those laws. It's the reason why they don't live in cities, because too many rules. Um, small towns, we don't have near as many rules in the countries. Uh, we live in the country, and we don't have any rules. <laughs> I mean, we can grow whatever we want, raise whatever we want, build whatever we want. Nobody's going to say anything to us. There are absolutely no rules. And it would be, uh, especially Texas, uh, c- certain states, but especially Texas, Wyoming, Montana, mm-hmm. Nebraska, mm-hmm. Idaho, mm-hmm. Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, any of those states like that, uh, they would be insulted if there were those kind of laws. We kind of let the, the country people don't say anything what city people rules they make up, and we laugh at the rules that they make up, but that's up to them. Um, to live like that. Also, just wanted to bring up that, you know, if you have a group of animals and they pile up too much together, uh, they, the way that nature handles that problem, if, if there's too many of an animal in a certain area, is, they, is what she does is she starts a uh, disease and it clears out the animals. And that's basically what you're seeing. You're seeing it's just kind of like a forest fire or... Uh, you know, humans will interfere and kill a whole bunch of wolves, so the deer will, way too many deer will get on the land and they'll get some kind of disease and they'll drop off and they'll die. It's a balancing act, and that's what's happening here. But just a heads up, uh, the re- people around the world, you're not going to come to America and do anything, but those in America, don't get into a panic and think you're just going to get in a car and drive out to the, to the country and pull up and take people's stuff by just puffing up and being tough or <laughs> God don't take a chain in your hand or a knife because there are no knife fights out here that they do that in England right knife fights are in England over here in we don't Scotland. do knife fights and if they do have a knife in their hand there'll be a gun in the other hand and they will throw the knife they will not stab you and get close they'll throw it and they'll be very good at it so don't make that mistake what I would suggest, if you are in that situation or know someone who is, uh, be polite. Walk up with much uh, respect and ask for help. They're very, very giving people. Uh, they may say, fuck off. If they do, back up slowly and say thank you anyway and go to the next house. Just because one said no doesn't mean the next one won't help you. They probably will. There's a lot of nice people. But they will not they will not help you at all if you try to go in there like with all puffed up like a peacock. You know, they're going to know that you didn't have your shit together. They're going to know that you aren't a country person. They're going to know you're the grasshopper. Yeah, they're going to know <laughs> that you're the grasshopper. So whether or not they take pity on you or not, don't know. But, yeah, they're, so I want you to know that I think Trump has got a plan. But as far as the other governors and... <laughs> Mostly mayors city and stuff. Idiots. You know, you guys can say whatever you want to say. The truth is that there's another militia out here. There's another military out here protecting the United States. And that's in our Constitution. It tells us that's the reason why it says we're responsible to keep our government in line. If it doesn't do what we want it to do, it's our responsibility to take up arms and take our government back. That's our Constitution. That's what we're told to do. So... Americans take that very seriously, and there's always been across the United States militia ready to do that if need be. Okay? So, there you go. So and can, okay, to let, give you one Stephanie little talk. story about the whole walking up very politely, we have neighbors oh, just yeah. a few houses down, and we had not interacted with them yet, and my dad was looking for his dog that ran off. He drove up there to see if they had seen the dog. He got what drove up there in his car, so he did not look like a country person. And as soon as he stepped out of the car before he reached the house, an old woman came out with a shotgun hmm. and Stop. did the movie Cha-Ching with said shotgun and said, what the fuck are you doing here? 
So he very politely explained, and as soon as she found out that he was a neighbor, she, she went, was oh, fine. okay. So and that's it's a the neighbor. Truth. There and was no was, pandemic. There was no insanity. That is normal. That is normal. <laughs> <laughs> that's just normal the way it is here. So... <laughs> You know, that whole wild, wild west, I guess there is a part of that in the United States. It's not in the city. So yeah, that never and, left. If really you come didn't. and visit in a city, it's going to be very different. And the cities are almost all carbon copies of each other. But the country is very much still uh, wild west. And there are many, many stories I could tell you about this country in many areas and how they respond differently from Louisiana and Arkansas to Texas to Wyoming, Montana, Idaho. Maine. Uh, <laughs> Maine, Yeah. Oregon, Oregon, Arizona, Northern California, <laughs> Arizona, <laughs> Southwest de Desert. Uh huh. Yeah, that's there's certain areas you don't want to mess with people. People <laughs> who live in swamps, people who live close to mountain ranges, mountains, and people who live in deserts. These are easy ways to get rid of bodies. So you are extra saying, extra polite there. Very polite there, <laughs> <laughs> because of that reason. So yeah. You'd think that there's not a whole lot of death out in those areas, but that's just because nobody ever knows about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure quite a few of supposed victims of serial killers are not victims of serial killers. <laughs> oh, I think so, too. I think there's a lot of disappearances that aren't exactly walking off, either. But nobody's going to say. No. Ever. So, anyway, that's it for that. Do you have anything else you wanted to share? Oh, and yes, we noticed that... Oh, well, we do. Also, there was that... Um, old couple that was finally arrested for the murders of several people like 60 years ago and they threw him in a mine shaft up in Wyoming and that's why it <laughs> took so long for them to find the bodies <laughs> silly people should have thrown him in a mine they, shaft. yeah that was a doof on them Just they didn't put him in the mountains there's lots of animals that eat bodies but they put him in a mine shaft oh, okay well they got away with it for 60 years exactly I mean they're like really old now so it's like you know <laughs> retirement you know it's like What's the point, right? Exactly. <laughs> it, the chick just kind of went, yeah, we did it. Like, and we <laughs> did notice that the two guys running to go run against Donald Trump um, are a pedophile and a communist. And I start, shook my head and I went, wow, he chose wrong. Because there's only one person that would lose to a pedophile in the United States, and that would be a communist. Absolutely. And he dropped the big C word is still a bad word here. Guys. Now, granted, so I don't care how it. much anyone tries to say, no, he's a social democrat. No, no. no. I'm sorry, no. we're talking about gulags. This is a bad thing to do. I mean, you just don't. We're still really jumping And throwing people up against the wall and all sorts of other shit. It, oh, no. Only thing, only if he would have said anything else, he would have beat Biden. Because Biden's got pictures everywhere of fondling girls. Creepy Uncle girls. Joe. Yeah, he's creepy Uncle Joe. So the only person, the only person that a pedophile. Yeah, could that be says a lot about United America, States really. Is a, is a communist, communist, communist pedophile. Communist. <laughs> pedophile. Uh, sorry, we're gonna have to go with the pedophile. <laughs> that's how bad we don't like communism. It, it, that's what you listen to, not MSM or CNN or that. That's not real America. So no. anybody that's listening to Fox, CBC, CBS, ABC, yeah, those CNBC, guys, NBC, NBC, these are not real Americans. That's those, those guys like to pretend else. that we are the UK. We are not the fucking UK. No, okay? we're not the UK. We left. You know, we beat your asses. We left. UK. We left. And we have no desire to be the UK. And uh, been laughing at them with their no guns thing for... Decades. And arresting people for jokes and all of that yeah. absolute. And banning knives. And, and, and attempt, the, considering banning and spoons the now. And the, and the snootiness. And the snooty, oh, God, the snooty. Snootiest. That's the problem. So, that's the real problem with the cities. They all try to be like UK. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. They do. And that's that why. does not match with the country. We're like, no, we still remember the tea. We threw the tea in the Gulf. I exactly. Mean, we, there and we did it for a reason. It wasn't that long ago. I mean, we've got still people that are trying to talk about doing the Civil War again, guys. You have no idea. Exactly. It wasn't very long before that we had the Revolutionary War. It hasn't been that long. So, although we do kind of hang, you know, we're okay with the UK. We, you know, we're not buds. They still, you know, we still had to break away from them. We did go to war with them. 
So, yeah, we're not. And just because we were on the same side in the World War doesn't really mean much. No, it really no, it doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it was like, okay, this one or this one, all right? Lesser of two evils. We'll do that. Pretty much. And it probably had And if you notice how long it took us to finally decide. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. We got to side with them to beat them. There's a reason why they take make jokes about us being the cavalry, like as the dust was settling, because we were like, I don't know if we even want to bother. They're going, I don't know, unless we can make money at it. (laughs) America doesn't do it. (laughs) They're like, ah, no, it's a principal thing. I I didn't like any of you guys over there. I don't want to go over there at all. (laughs) Oh, money Mm -hmm. to be had? Okay, well, then we'll do it. (laughs) Money hungry fighters. Yeah, that's America. Rude. Very mouthy. And proud of it. And very proud of it. So, yeah, just a heads up on the basic, the rest of the United States, for those of you who are still listening to the news, uh, (laughs) G-Man and (laughs) Stephen, you two that are still listening to the news, uh, all I can say is why. I just don't understand why. Because they say nothing accurately now. As Stephanie was saying, one of them was from, what, MSN? Uh, was, one, well, MSM is mainstream news, maybe, I mean, but, um, uh, the, oh yeah, that dude, I think he was CNN. Who was asking Donald Trump why he didn't shut down the grocery, the grocery stores, stores and, and restaurants <laughs> and restaurants. And, he, and so Donald Trump was very slowly, like he was talking to a three-year-old explaining that, uh, people need food. <laughs> so if you're following any kind of a company that supports that kind of reporter, all I can say is, well, gosh, you kind of deserve the news you get. Uh, there are lots and lots and lots of people that are actual real people who are putting up videos everywhere about what is actually happening, where they're from. All you got to do is kind of expand your your clicking abilities a little bit further. Oh, yeah. I'll give you a tip. I don't think Mom said this. If you look up anything on Google, never look at the front page. Go to at least the third page. Yeah, because the first ones are bought off by the, you know, the fake people. So click back to three and beyond, and then you'll get real people, real information. And verify it with real people. Guys, don't, don't go with these guys. You already know they lie. They've lied to us for <laughs> decades. Now it's becoming obvious, so just don't pay attention to that and uh, pay attention to what's really going on. But expect the people that are people and places that are in contagion, they have to be corralled until they're clear. Now this thing they're up to is that it can hang around for like 23 days? Like 26. 26 days that it is viable, which means somebody walks by and they have the coronavirus and they cough. It can sit on that, wherever that landed, for almost a month. And still, if you touch it, then you can, and you put your hands in your mouth, you can get it. That's so far. And I think they started at three days, went up to five, seven, eventually 26. I'm not even sure if they've got that right number yet. But ultimately, the contagion factor is what's what's important. And they're going to keep people in an area until that contagion is clear. With a place like New York City and New Jersey, I don't see how they can't block them. They're going to have to. Their numbers are so high. If they were to let them loose in the United States, it would it would be a national disaster. Yeah, it'd be a national disaster. So I know that the New York City people think that they're all that and then some, but right now they are in a contagious situation. And in order to protect the United States, which is more important than New York City, they're going to have to be blocked. Until they get over this, <coughs> until they get through this. As I compared it, New York City people were dumb enough to willingly go into their own Alcatraz. Because that's what it is. It is an island that can be very easily blocked off, and you're trapped there. You can't swim easily, and it's all super polluted water. <laughs> it's like Alcatraz. Yeah, they kind of created their own nightmare. What? You know, people are not meant to do that. No animals, no mammals should live like that. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, Love you bunches, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.